We as humans procrastinate everything. Even one minute tasks can take a heap of motivation to do, such as taking the trash out, cleaning your desk or your bed, making a simple phone call to your manager, and yes, you guessed it, studying. See, people often label procrastination as a sign of laziness or a fundamental part of your personality, but to simply put it, it's none of those. Procrastination is the habit of putting something off just because it causes you some form of stress or minor inconvenience. And today, I'm going to show you how to combat that. I procrastinate all the damn time. To put into perspective, I am sitting down ready to study in the afternoon and then my brain suddenly tells me, oh my god, Beyonce just released a new song. You should listen to it right now. And then I go ahead and listen to that song. And then I go on this huge rampage of listening to other songs. And then I eventually end up on YouTube listening to a bunch of other shit. And then I realize it's dinner time and I need to make dinner. And then nighttime comes, I'm ready to study again. But then I sit down and then I suddenly remember this one moment from a very specific Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode and I'm like, oh my god, I, should, I need to watch it right now. Like, I need to get on that. And then I end up saying, nah, the studying can wait until tomorrow morning or something. It shouldn't be too bad anyway. This week's topic was pretty easy. And then the next day comes and then I finally convince myself to study. I take one look at the task and I realize, holy crap. This is, this is really difficult and it's the weekend. I have no friends to contact because they're all working and my teachers are probably not going to check their emails until Monday, but the task is due on Sunday. So then I'm like, in a, I'm stuck in a fight or flight situation and like every other time that I cram everything last minute, the results aren't as good as I want them to be because I spent too much time procrastinating and not enough time actually working or learning the topic. So to combat this, the first thing you should understand is that it is okay to stress. Throughout my years of high school and uni, stress was never really something that I experienced when it come to assignments or tests. And that was actually the bane of my studies because it meant that I was careless and I just was nonchalant about most things. See, the reason why is because when you don't stress, you don't care. And when you don't care, you don't study. And when you don't study, you don't get the results you want. And this happened quite a lot to me throughout my final year of high school. Sure, I still got decent results, but it could have been much better. Like, I was in the top 10% of my cohort, but I could have been in that 1% if I actually showed a bit more stress and motivation towards my studies rather than procrastinating the hell out of it. So, if you're stressed, remind yourself that it's a good thing. Take advantage of it and use it as a way of motivating yourself into studying. And just to remind you guys, once you start, it becomes a lot easier. Trust me. So, if you want to stop procrastinating, you need to get out of that I can't possibly do it mindset. And of course, there isn't always going to be someone holding your hands the entire way, pushing you to do your things. Because, and you just need to learn to discipline yourself. God, I sound like my parents. To start off, the best way to discipline yourself and to stop yourself from procrastinating is not by cutting out what distracts you. Yes, you heard it right. You don't need to shut down your phone or leave it in another room in order to study properly. Another important thing is to start off small. Don't pick the hardest task because that will often drain you and demotivate you and make you feel defeated and you will end up procrastinating again. Start off with the easiest thing that should only take a few minutes to do. You will then realize that, hey, this is great. I feel like I can conquer the world. That was an exaggeration, but you get what I mean. 
See, by starting off with the easiest tasks, you are getting into the rhythm of doing things and getting them done. And you're kind of playing a trick on your mind because you feel accomplished and then you will feel more motivated to do other things and feel that sort of accomplishment. It boosts your serotonin, I guess. Now, for those of you who have watched my previous video, a lot of you may know that I don't like taking breaks at all. And to add on to this, the reason why is because after I have this long study session and I get a bunch of things done, I can then just sit back, relax, and do whatever I want without the worry of a task that's due next week at the back of my mind because I've already completed it by practicing deep work. So for those of you who have a short attention span, my biggest recommendation for you is to not take too many breaks throughout your study. Maybe study for two hours in deep work and then take maybe an hour break and then go back to studying. Because of, more often than not, if I do the Pomodoro technique where you study 25 minutes, take five minutes, to me that's complete bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with that, but I do not like the Pomodoro technique. So a key to motivating yourself is also living a healthy lifestyle and more importantly, sleeping well. Um, because if you sleep too little, you're tired. And if you sleep too much, guess what? You're also tired. You need to make sure you're getting that right amount of sleep and you'll be, trust me, you'll be a lot more motivated than what you are when you don't sleep the right amount. Um, and another way to boost your motivation at the start of the day is waking up right when your alarm goes off. Don't snooze it because when you're snoozing it, you're technically also procrastinating waking up. <laughs> and like, yeah, just get up right when the alarm goes off, have some breakfast, have a shower, do all of that good morning stuff. Um, say good morning to your parents, I don't know, whatever. Whatever starts your day, I guess. And just get straight into it. Like, you guys got this. Make sure, as I said, make sure you're living a healthy lifestyle. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope it helped. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, check the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And also check out my socials. I'm mainly on Instagram. You can, you can follow me on Twitter, I guess, but like, I don't really post anything on Twitter. Um, and... I'm very active on Instagram, so feel free to reach out, follow, and check out my content on Instagram. I post quite regularly on there, so just feel free to check it out. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Anyways, okay, bye!